Now, Sky Sports News reported yesterday that seven Crawley players have come forward with allegations that the club's manager, John Yames, used discriminatory language and behaviour against his own players. He has been suspended for what the club has called serious and credible complaints. For more on this story, we can join our senior reporter, Rob Dorset. Rob, what more can you tell us about this? Well, Hayley, there have been some important developments uh, in the last few hours. Um, I can tell you that um, we've made contact with a former Crawley Town player who has alleged to Sky uh, that the club's changing room was segregated on racial grounds, with players from ethnic minorities made to change away from their white teammates. Now, clearly, those are very serious allegations, but as I speak to you now, those are still allegations. There are a number of ongoing investigations by the authorities that I'll outline for you in just a moment. But as you say, um, we told you on Sky Sports News yesterday that seven different Crawley players have come forward to the P PFA with allegations that the club's manager, John Yems, um, used discriminatory language and behaviour uh, against those players. He's been suspended and the club have said while that they're carrying out an investigation they consider those allegations to be serious and credible uh, and in the meantime both my colleagues at Sky News and myself have been looking into this and we've approached Mr Yems by telephone uh, by letter and knocked on his door at his home twice as well to give him a chance to respond to these allegations uh, he has refused to do so so far we haven't seen or heard from him though other media outlets I think it's important to say have reported that Mr Yems has denied the allegations to them and in the meantime our colleagues at Sky News have now spoken to a former Crawley Town player who uh, has left the club now but did play under Mr Yems uh, as manager at Crawley Town. Uh, he wants to remain anonymous, this particular player, but he said that in his experience, uh, all of these allegations about racist language and player segregation are all true, were the words that he used to us. And he added that it's affected my friends who I am close with till this day. Now, we've also reported at Sky Sports News that the PFA has offered counselling to the players who have come forward with these allegations and indeed offers of support to any other players who've been affected by those allegations. And last night there was a fans forum at Crawley Town where the new American owners of the club brought the fans together to try and talk to them. But this subject was off limits. The owners said that they couldn't talk about it because of the ongoing investigations. Uh, concerns, as you might expect from a number of Crawley Town supporters, to the allegations that have been made in other national newspapers and now with us on Sky Sports News. Uh, but those three investigations, one by the club, Crawley Town FC, one by the FA and one by the PFA are all ongoing. And again, it's important to stress that these are allegations at this stage, very serious allegations. Uh, Mr Yems has yet to respond to those, but we need to make it clear as well that we at Sky Sports News and our colleagues at Sky News have given an awful lot of opportunities to him to do so so far.